Hello, welcome to Breathe English. I'm Erica, your host, and I'm here today with my friend Teresa. Hello. And we are going to learn cooking words in English. So, Teresa, what do you need to do if you're going to cook something? What's the first step? So, the first step is you have to decide what you're going to cook. And we call that choosing the recipe. I usually choose my recipe while I'm at the grocery store based on what looks good that day or what's on sale. So I already chose my recipe. And then you have to gather your ingredients. I print out a list of what I need. And then I see what I already have available at home. And then I run to the grocery store and gather all my ingredients. You get your produce, like your vegetables. Then you go to the meats and the butcher there can cut up your meats for you. And then we go to the aisles and we collect our um, dried goods, things like salt. And then I gather my ingredients and I lay them all out um, so that I'm ready to go. So we're going to prep all of the vegetables and we're going to use our cutting board and our knife and we're going to slice and dice. All right, so prep is used in cooking and it means prepare. And prep work is stuff like chopping, mincing, peeling. So you're not actually cooking it yet, but you're prepping, preparing to cook. We're going to prep several different vegetables. Um, we're making a Mediterranean chicken. Um, so we're gonna be using a lot of vegetables that grow around the Mediterranean. I'm going to dice the cucumber and the tomato. Start with slicing. And once we have slices, we cut them into little cube shapes. That's called dicing. I'm going to dice the tomatoes. Slicing and dicing. So we're going to make thinly sliced green onions. To prepare the garlic, we start with a head of garlic and we separate it out into cloves of garlic. And then we peel the cloves, smash, smash and peel. And then we mince the garlic. Mincing means that you slice it and then you cut it into really itty bitty pieces. <laughs> we have some herbs here. We have fresh mint. We also have oregano. So this is fresh and this one is dried. And an idiom to go with that is cut and dried. Yes, it's kind of like this herb is cut and dried, so it's super easy. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do anything to it. So if a situation is cut and dried, it's simple, easy, straightforward, settled, or decided. It's like at school, right? So all you have to do is read the textbook and write a summary. It's just cut and dried. So this one we don't have to do anything with. Mm -hmm. our cut and dried oregano. Mm -hmm. And then for our fresh herb, what are we gonna do? We are going to harvest the leaves. So harvest is also what you do out in the field. When you remove the plant from the soil, you're harvesting the plant. And when we're removing the leaves, we are harvesting the leaves. And then we are also just going to mince this as well, like we did the garlic. What is the next step? So we're going to prepare our lemon. First, we're going to peel it. So this tool is called a peeler. So the outside of the lemon is called the peel. And also the verb to peel is to take off the peel. All right, now what are we doing? Grating the lemon. And what does this give us? Zest. The very outside edge of the citrus peel, when it's grated, is called zest. So this is making lemon zest. 
So now we're going to juice the lemon. So I'm going to cut it in half. And this is a lemon juicer. Mm. And if you did not have a lemon juicer, you can just take the half of a lemon and you can squeeze it over the bowl. Squeeze the lemon. And this is a little strainer. And so that we don't get any seeds in there, you're going to strain the juice through a strainer. This is parsley and I am rinsing it. So a lot of recipes have greens. Any kind of a leaf that you want to eat, we call greens. And we like to rinse it. And we're rinsing it in a colander. I'm shaking out the excess water. You can just shake it. Or some people have a thing that's called a salad spinner that they use that spins it and it gets rid of all of the extra water. We're going to use the food processor to save some time. So you could take the parsley and you can chop it, or you can use the food processor and very quickly chop it all up. This is the lid. This is the blade. This is the bowl. And this is the base. We're going to process it in batches because if we put too much in at once, it crowds the machine and it won't, the blade won't spin. If you press on, it's just going to run continuously and we just want it to go on and off and we call that pulsing. Pulse, pulse. It's all chopped. Mm -hmm. So we're going to remove it from the food processor using a rubber scraper. We're going to put everything together into the mixing bowl. We're going to combine our ingredients in the bowl and there's a lot of different names for that. If I just go like this, it's called stirring. If I carefully flip them over from the middle, it's called folding. And here I'm just gonna to toss them together. A little dressing of lemon in there. Mm -hmm. Oregano. And some olive oil. And of course, salt. So this is the stove top and this is the oven. And when you want to get cooking, you have to preheat everything. So we're going to select bake today because we're going to bake our chicken. If we wanted to cook it near the top up here, we would set it to broil. And if we had a whole chicken, we would set it to roast. Today, we're going to bake some chicken. So we're going to preheat all of our cookware. Um, today, we're going to use a cast iron skillet. We're also going to use a frying pan and we're going to use a pot. So these are commonly called pots and pans. Here we have the sink. And first we're going to rinse the chicken. So after we rinse the chicken, then we pat it dry. Pat it dry. Is that so the seasoning will stick? Yep, and then it browns better. And it's also just part of the cleaning to rinse and dry. Great, so here we have our counter. So a counter is a flat surface in your kitchen where you can prepare your food. And we have cutting boards and knives. All right, so what's the next step with the chicken? So we are going to cut it into portions. So we have two big chicken breasts and we're going to cut it into, cut them in half so that we have four portions. We're just going to cut some slits into it to give a little bit more space for all the herbs and everything and seasoning to get into. Great, so a portion is like, the, like an amount for one person, right? Right. So four portions would be a meal for four people. Hello there, English learners. Erica here, 
I am editing this video. Here is me, my editing zone. Got some almonds and um, some muffins. And have decided it is too long, so I'm going to cut it into two, part one and part two. Thank you for watching part one, and please stick around for part two of Cooking in English. Thank you.